Between 2014 and 2015, one in four Australian children aged between 2 and 17 were considered to be in the unhealthy weight range for their age. These statistics are also similar for children living in the ACT. The Department of Health reported that in 2016, only 5% of children ate the recommended amount of vegetables, although most children were consuming enough fruit. There's a lot of research suggesting that gardening education programs can offer a unique experience to help children learn about and develop healthy eating behaviours. Aranda Primary School is currently developing a new garden-based education program that aims to increase children's awareness of fruits and vegetables, which may encourage a healthier eating habit. The gardening program consists of an educational component that allows students to gain fruit and vegetable related knowledge and skills so that they can build on their existing understanding of what they eat and where it came from. The program will also incorporate a hands-on gardening experience, where participants will be able to take care of some plants for a period of time, harvest them when they're ready, and possibly have the opportunity to cook some food with what they have harvested from the garden. We hope the produce grown by the students in the school garden will be used in the school canteen, so that the students can see the end product of their efforts in the garden. We have conducted a literature review and several focus groups and the results indicating that there are several elements a gardening program could include in order to be effective. First is to incorporate full knowledge on nutrition education with the gardening program to create a well-rounded education program. Second is to offer a hands-on gardening experience to establish basic gardening knowledge and keep children interested and engaged. Third is to relate the produce grown in the garden to foods that children eat daily. And the fourth one, which is also an important one, is to invite parents to participate. Why I think um, school gardens are an excellent initiative is because I feel that you can promote the key messages which is about healthy eating and physical activity via school gardens and basically instead of asking children to learn in the books about two fruits and five veggies let them experience growing their own fruits and veggies and incorporating that as part of the diet so i feel the more you are connected with something so like you're growing it you're planting the seeds you're seeing how the fruits and veggies are grown and then you have the enjoyment of relishing them in your diet that is more of a ingrown experience rather than asking them to have your fruits and veggies so i feel this is how you can uh, make them part of the community you can facilitate and support physical activity in school kids um, and make it all as an enjoyable process where they feel more of an ownership and responsibility regarding what they are growing, what they are consuming and this also makes them more environmentally inclined and conscious. So it is promoting a lot of key messages within this one set of activity. They can learn about composting, they can learn about uh, biodegradable versus non-degradable foods etc. One of the benefits of the school gardening program is that students are able to see the entire gardening process from when the plants are planted to when they are growing through to the cooking process and they will gain a better understanding of where fruits and vegetables come from and how they contribute to their diet. The unique hands-on experience offered by the program is especially important as it allows students to see the proof of their own efforts in the garden. We have designed some healthy and delicious recipes for the school garden. By using the produce grown in the school garden, students will have the chance to taste and enjoy the food they grow by themselves. And therefore, they may eat more fruits and vegetables. Their preference, attitudes, or willingness to taste new fruits and vegetables may also improve. Hi, my name is Daniela Castro. I'm an occupational therapist and I'm a lecturer at the University of Canberra. We have been working together with nutrition and dietetics and the design and implementation of a project um, at the Randa Primary School. And the idea of the project is to promote gardening as a healthy and um, cooperative occupation for the kids at the school. So the idea is that kids with any um, level of ability and skill and cognition and even the kids with disabilities will be able to share uh, this space together and they will be able to do a range of activities because we know that social participation and being involved with others 
it's the best way to stay healthy and um, happy actually. So we really think that uh, the garden offers the possibility for kids with different levels of ability, age and interest to participate in a range uh, of things together. So this is where you can get involved and help support us at Aranda, involving your children at home um, in things like helping you cook, helping you out in the garden or go grocery shopping with you can help keep them engaged and interested and they can also learn where the food comes from and how food and vegetables play a good role, important role in their diet. So yeah, please help support us. Thank you.